Okay, welcome back to, uh, I'm just using this as, because it looks dope, but it messed it up the video last time. But this is a, a very special holiday, um, ass Tito anything. So, um, I'm about to push on my, on my, sh on my share button, ask away. Somebody already asked a question, it must be 6 o'clock. So, here we go. Here we go. Okay, Mark Oshie's question is, who smells assier, you or Opie Day? Who eats more bologna sandwiches at a powwow? Anyone ever tell you you look like Chad Burger Sanders? Okay, I'm going to say um, it's a tie between me and Ope. And uh, I probably ate, I don't know, man. Ope's been on, in, in the game longer than me, so he probably ate more bologna sandwiches at a powwow than I ever have. Uh, I don't know who Chad Burger Sanders is, but you know what I'm saying. He's a that's if if I, if I look like him, then then he's a fine motherfucker. Good question there, Mark. Here we go. Questions is rolling in like I'm love. Ask what away. Um, you, know, you obviously you haven't been paying attention, Hope Demarius. Let's see here. Everybody done forgot about the show. It's all good though. It's all good in the hood. How about that number game? That shit was toy. It was toy. Nah, it was all right. It was all right. It's kind of, kind of just draws you in, and then, then once you, then you're like, when once you're in, you're you're in. You know what I mean? Ew, Tito. Mm, Mountain Dew. That's one of our sponsors. Mountain Dew, by the way. Alrighty, here we go. Um, Josiah Cody Fredericks asks, Tito, what's more important to you, singing or being a comedian? I'm going to have to say, Josiah, that uh, I love them both. They're both equally important, and there's no reason for me to choose. So um, I'm not going to, I mean, I'm not going to choose, make a choice between the two because I can do both at the same time. That's obvious from the, uh, from the, uh, how about, how about, uh, how about like where I sing and then make people laugh? Like from like the uh, way too personal internet hand drum dude, you know what I'm saying? That's like, that's like doing both. But if I had to choose... I'm gonna I'm gonna say singing. That's that, I mean, but I but I, I want to be a comedian though too. So that's a hard one. But I mean, you know, I'm gonna do both, man. Fuck, cause I'm fucking good at both, man. I'm. Damn. Next question. Next question. Okay, okay, Jonah Latender. Okay, my question is back. 2004 Missoula Powell, you sang with MNX. How come the boys didn't place at the Powell since MNX was host drum and all? Oh, and when are you going to put up more Kills the White Man drum groups videos? <clears throat> okay, my question is back in 2004 in Missoula, you sang with MNX. How come the boys didn't place at the Powell? Uh, man, I don't, I don't even, I can't, I can't even remember shit that happened yesterday. And... I mean, I think 2004, did you sing with them or something? Or is that really bothering you to this day? Because if it is, you got to let that go, player. That's that's 2004. This is 2010. About to be 2011, baby. I don't know what happened there. But uh, did they deserve to the place? I don't know. Um, It rolls funny for every. The dice roll funny for everybody. Next question. Oh, I can't can't do that right now, there, person. Um, Alan Kid asks. Okay, I got two questions. First, on the Power Friends website, you say you got into comedy because of some not so good photos running around. Is that true? And secondly, where in the hell did you come up with the idea of Ernest T. Basket? I don't know who Ernest T. Basket is, but um, that's that. Uh, I'll answer the first question. Yes. Some I did I lost my job from some uh photos um circulating about me and uh 
and you know I thought I thought, thought I thought it was the end of the world but um it just it uh, actually just made me it forced me into into comedy um forced me into comedy so I ain't mad at nobody and there were some good ass pictures too I was hot I was sexy and hot Okay, Marlon Daddy, kind of stupid question. Okay, but leaving in Wisconsin and trailing to other areas, what's the difference between OJ Boys and Chippewas? Next question. All right. Tony Frank, what's the craziest thing you saw at a powwow? Man, I seen like, man, I seen, uh, I seen this dude get, uh, we were down in Cherokee, North Carolina, and some dude, he, some, I mean, some white dude, he was just, I don't know if he was white or Cherokee, but, um, he was, he was just feeling the spirit, man, he went running out there and he was trying to dance with the fancy dancers, and, man, they went out there and just gang tackled him and dragged him off, crazy style, that's probably the craziest thing I've ever seen, good question. Good question, Tony. Fuck. Flavor Macalicious. Where are, are all the nice guys with biatches and all the nice girls with assholes? Oh, why are all the nice girls with biatches and all the nice girls with assholes? If I knew the answer to that, Flavor Macalicious, um, things probably would be a lot different for me. But uh, I don't know. That's That's a good question. Why are all the... I don't know, man. I guess it's uh, it's got to even out somehow, you know. Got to find that balance, you know. Like uh, like yeah, basically you gotta one's got to even or one's got to what you call it, the other one. I don't know. That didn't make no sense neither, but um, that I don't know. Damn. God damn. Eric Mumphrey Chiefer, if there was powwow porn, what would you call, title it, and who would you have starring in it? If there was powwow porn, that's sick, dude. How do you put them two things together? I put, I, man, I, man I, I, I don't know, I guess. I'll be, I don't know, I would call it the after party or the, or, or, or the, or the. 49 incher? I don't know. And, uh, I don't know. I'd have, I don't know whoever wanted to start in that motherfucker, I guess. I, 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 I wouldn't be in it. That's gross. Marlon Denny. I, I, I Um, no, I can't. Sorry, Marlon, I can't do that because that would take up too much time and there's only like two minutes left. Okay, West Jordan wants to know how much could a wood duck wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood. Um, I don't know, cause they they do come out and say, "Hey, wood chucks, quit chucking my wood," and then then they I don't know, probably a lot, probably like they probably I don't know, they probably get the job done, son. Probably a grip, probably a whole chopped up tree. This is these questions are coming in really really fast. Frank Defoe wants to know when you're bored, does Shantae and Larry ever talk or fight? Yes, uh, they do fight. They used to fight all the time when you could open up two windows on Facebook, but you can't do that no more. But uh like as far as in my head and stuff like that, nah, they don't talk in my head, nothing crazy stuff like that. Good question there, Frank. But I think they like each other though. What's your favorite Playboy girl? And if you had a date with her, which powwow would you go to? Man, I might have to say Pamela Anderson, man. Now I'd probably take her to um, take her to the um, the um sobriety powwow at the uh, at the Indian Center, and then just go get drunk after. 
One more question. I'm taking one more question. One more. Maybe not. Maybe not even. Ain't that a bitch. Yeah, so anyway, uh, I'm about to head out uh, to uh, Rapid City, South Dakota. I got to go like on a week-long tour. I'm going to call it a tour because that's what it is. I'm doing like three shows, quite possibly five. And I'm going to leave probably in the morning. And I'm going to go as far as I can because there's a big-ass blizzard coming. And I'm tripping. But I'm going to make it. Ain't nothing going to stop me if I have to go through mother-flipping uh, North Dakota to South Dakota. I'll do it. Okay, I gotta get my boy Junior in here. I gotta take his question, and then I think I'm done. Oh, um, Junior Jordan wants to know, do you for real owe thousands in child support? Please see that, Bray. Oh, and GSB or cost tomorrow? Oh, my boy GSB is gonna whoop on cost. And yes, I really do owe child support thousands, but it's because, um... Like, I give it to these girls, and they already got kids, and then I just be, like, signing their birth certificates and shit, because <laughs> they, they, they talk, because I, you know, I, they talk me into it, and so, they, none of them are really my kids, but I'm just, I'm just cool <laughs> like that. No more questions, alright, thanks again for tuning in, uh, I don't know when I'm gonna do this again, I'm gonna be gone all next week, so probably the week after, I'm thinking maybe do it on a Wednesday, but give me your guys' feedback, let me know, and, uh, tune in next time, see y'all later.